Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for Ju June 11th through June 17th. Maybe the 18th. Yeah, We'll go to the 18th. June 11th to the 18th. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out um, when I'm shuffling, get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Generally, my readings are love readings, so if it's not, then so be it. If you ain't looking for love, then you probably shouldn't be watching this reading. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Timing is fluid. This could have happened, maybe happening now or in the future. Keep your uh, shitty comments out of the comment section. I don't want to hear any bashing of other signs. You know, don't write anything uh, nasty or mean about another sign. Keep that out of my comment section. It will be it will be deleted and blocked. I'm a no-nonsense reader, and I, drama feeds drama, and I don't go for it. If you'd like a personal reading, the information is below. Gemini, Gemini, second week of June, second full week, the 11th through the 18th. For the lady that doesn't want to watch me shuffle, tough shit. I'm not changing my ways for anybody, period. I am who I am and you must like me as I am or you don't belong in my life. Somebody isn't working hard enough, reluctant to see a new approach, reluctant to move forward, reluctant to uh, bring calmness into their lives. Give it, not working hard enough on looking at something in a new light. Okay. There's confusion here. There is. There's confusion. Be careful what you choose. If you are you choosing money, are you choosing assets, or are you, that's what this card is. The Seven of Cups is about choices. Do you choose the cups, which is the love, or do you choose the stuff that is in the cups? It's assets or love. Big decision. There's consequences for your choice. This is a card of consequences and choices, the Seven of Cups. There will be consequences of your choice if you choose the assets over love. Things are going to be unbalanced. You may be feeling like you don't want to be held accountable or somebody that you're dealing with doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. There's a feeling of injustice here with the justice card reversed. Dishonesty. Somebody is not being honest about their true feelings. Um, and unfairness. This is also karma. So be careful with your decision because there's karma there's consequences, okay? Um, you know, do you want to be alone or not? And if somebody doesn't want to be alone, but they don't want to put in effort to see things from a new perspective or a different perspective or from a new approach, 
but I don't want to be alone. Here you have to make a decision. Twos are all about choices and decisions again. Okay, this is about making the decision. You have two paths, and here it is. Do you choose the assets or do you choose the love? I mean, hey, that is the decision that needs to be made. You're probably feeling restless and detached and withdrawn. There's a lack of contentment uh, regarding a partnership. Do you move forward and travel the world? Or do you stay? Or do you stay? <laughs> right here. Oh my goodness. These are both in balance. Both of them. Something is out of balance. Is it your thoughts? There's a lack of peace. There's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of balance. A lack of compromise. What? You can't compromise? Somebody isn't compromising. It's like there's extremes here, going to extremes. Therefore, there's probably a missed opportunity in love. Somebody is wanting more financial abundance instead of love. And that's what this is. It is. But they don't want to, so they're, therefore they're not putting work into a relationship. And therefore they're missing an opportunity of love by not putting love at the forefront. And this is the Ace of Cups, okay? It's, it's, it's being offered, but you aren't taking it. You aren't accepting it. You aren't seeing it. You're, you're missing it. You're missing this Ace of Cups, which is true love. You're missing the opportunity And there will there's 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 consequences for the choices that you make. I'm sorry, Gemini. Um, here, the full card reversed. The full card is reversed. is about recklessness. It's about being naive. Oh my goodness! You know, <laughs> this is you. It could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is only going to harm you. Whatever is going on here, somebody isn't putting in enough effort into a relationship. This is a love reading, into seeing love, wanting love, giving love a chance, and it's only harming you. This is like unfair treatment. It's not fair. It's not fair to another person. I'm not sure what this is, but we're going to get some more cards after I zoom it in. It's not making a wise decision either with that King of Swords in reverse. It's not a wise decision. You should be upright, shouldn't you? You're wisest when you're in your upright, posi upright position. In reverse, you're not seeing things clearly. So this is a week of extremes, making extreme changes in which there will be some consequences for. You have to make a decision. Do you stay or do you go? There is a decision that needs to be made. Oh my goodness. So we have uh, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Pisces. Huh. So this is personal freedom. This is freeing yourself. Freeing yourself. Making a conscious change. Having the strength to do so. Having the strength to free yourself from a situation. Okay. There's something going on behind the scenes. There's some sort of deception here. Could be with a Pisces. Could be with anybody. This is the card of Pisces. But... There is lies, there's deception, there is um, secrecy. Okay, there's some kind of secrecy here. And you are going to have to really be strong, strong enough to discern the situation. There's also been some sort of discontentment in which somebody has moved forward, moved on. 
put themselves, got the hell out of a situation, could have been with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, because maybe there was there was something going on behind the scenes. I mean, I don't know what this is, but then maybe there was another person. I don't know. There's a lack of uh, commitment here. It's like somebody doesn't want a commitment. Maybe they just want to travel. There's travel here. Maybe there's traveling on the horizon, and therefore you don't want to be in a commitment. Either way, something is not all as it seems. Be careful. The moon says caution. Be careful. You don't know everything, okay? The, you don't know everything, the, the whole logistics of whatever's going on. There's something, some, some secret, some sneaky situation that you aren't completely aware of um, in regards to this direction that you're taking, okay? This is extremely... This is an extreme. It definitely is. And it's going to bring this direction that you're on, this path that you're on. If you look at these cards, this is the path. This is the direction. It leads to imbalance. It leads to chaos. It leads to some a heavy weight on your shoulders. And that's no joke. That's what this, I'm telling you. Be careful, you have to make a serious decision here with that two of wands right in the middle. It's underneath here. You have two paths. You have two options. You think the grass is greener on the other side? Somebody does, because that's the meaning of the card. It's not. Some of you are thinking about expanding yourself um, globally, but it may be maybe biting off more than you can chew. Because you don't know the, you don't know the, everything about it. You won't know it either until it's too late. That's what the moon card is. You will not know it until it's happening. Impulsiveness. Somebody is acting impulsively. Act now, think later. This is impulsiveness. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It doesn't. The star card reversed. It does not lead to happiness. The fact of the matter is, is somebody's really insecure here. And they're looking for their security in assets. The Nine of Swords is, is let go of the worry. Let go of the anxiety. Let go of the... The lack of hope for the future, the insecurities, the despair that you've been carrying around about the confusion. I mean, here's the confusion. Let go of the confusion. Let go of the inability to make, an, make a solid commitment. It's a commitment. And this is solid. The Queen of Pentacles is solid, and this is commitment. Maybe you're letting go of a solid commitment. That could be the case. Somebody is releasing, but they don't know. They don't know the whole story. They don't. They're releasing, but they don't know. Yeah, somebody is, is definitely thinking about um, doing something, you know, uh, they're planning for their future here. Planning for their future. Focusing on their future. Waiting for their ships to come in. But there's a lack of hope. There's a lack of wish fulfillment in whatever this is. That you are, that you're waiting for. I'm not sure it's going to, I mean, eventually it's going to happen. You're going to get what you really want. You're going to get what you desire. But, and I think that you've been, you know, you're trying, you're coming up with new goals for the future. You're trying to 
realize what they are, but I think that you're 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 not seeing the whole picture. Okay, you're trying to plan for the future, but you're not seeing the whole picture. This Queen of Wands, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising signs. This person is kind of, um, there's a lack of, self-esteem, self-worth, and maybe that's why, maybe that's why somebody has to prove their worth with assets, you know, I'm not sure. Somebody's not feeling abundant enough, so they're chasing a pipe dream, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, mm, not the words I wanted to come out of my mouth, for sure, definitely not. Um, but there's a lack of, I mean, you're going to have to work so hard to accomplish this, whatever it is. And do you have the energy? There's a lack of energy here. There's a lack of, of drive and passion right now. It's impulsive right now. It sounds all good, but there's, you don't know the whole everything. You don't know everything about this situation. Okay. And I'm not sure there's enough. Yeah, there's somebody that is very self-centered and greedy. This is greedy, self-centered. This is this is greedy and self-centered as well. It is. This is obsessed, obsessed with obsessed with finances, obsessed with money, obsessed obsessed with abundance, acted acting impulsively. Oh my goodness. Maybe you're destined. Maybe you're destined to travel to to. Uh, There's a, there's a new path opening for you. There is. It's destiny. Whatever is happening is supposed to happen. Okay. There's a new opportunity. But it looks as though, you know, there's an, it's exciting. It's an exciting opportunity. It is. It's exciting. But there is, there could be financial loss. <sighs> I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, I don't think there's, there's a lack of planning here. And there's a lack of hard work, too. So I'm not sure. Like I said, you might be biting off more than you can chew. Anyway, the Wheel of Fortune, that is a, this is good luck is on its way. This is also karma and destiny. It's a change of course. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. It is. Whether it's love or money. Whatever, it's, this, whatever is happening is meant to happen at this time to, to teach you a lesson of some sort. It's very exciting. There's a new exciting opportunity here that um, is probably allowing you to expand your horizons beyond your wildest dreams. And that's what the moon is. That's beyond your wildest dreams. And your wildest dreams are probably um, pretty wild, right? If you think about your wildest dreams, are they fantasies? I mean, the moon card is about fantasy. If you think about Pisces, I'm sorry, if you guys are dealing with a Pisces or if any Pisces are, are watching this. The moon card is ruled by Pisces, which is all about fantasy. It's about, it's not about reality. It's about escapism. It's about escaping. Okay, so somebody is probably, and it's not about reality at all. The moon card is not about re reality by any means whatsoever, unless it's in reversed. And this one is not in reversed. Okay, so this isn't like it's, you really need to see the whole situation, okay? This is a dream that could be a little too far-fetched, okay? But whatever is happening is broadening your horizons and opening your eyes to what you really want. And you do have to make a serious decision. Is it going to be love or money? There will be consequences of your choice. Destiny... Destiny, I don't know, I don't know. I feel as though somebody is making an impulsive decision that could impact their life in a, a positive way for a little while, but not for long. Be careful, 
Really think about this. Be careful what you own because what you own owns you. That's the meaning of this card. If you take this opportunity, you you're it's going to suck you dry. But it will pay. It will pay. It will bring abundance. It will bring in the, the dollar. But it, there's no love here, okay? So it's love or money. There's a decision to be made this week. Love, relationship, or job, money. Be careful with your choice. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Abundance. Well, of course. Of course. And I'm going to read that one for you. Because I want you to know. Which we all know what it means. Here we see a depiction of Pomona, the Roman goddess of abundance and harvest of the ripe fruits and fields. She is adorned with all manner of wildflowers and forest flora as if to celebrate the year, yield of nature's bounty. Butterflies dance around her, representing transformation and lightness of being. We can all relate to the wonderful feelings of connectedness when abundance bestows herself upon us. It can be felt physically with the harvesting of material success or good health, mentally in fruition of the idea of or a dream. Oh my God. Emotionally by finding new love or spiritually through expansion of the soul. This card calls you to reflect on the abundance already in your life. The abundance you already have. Be thankful for all that you have and be open to receiving more goodness in your life. From a practical perspective, decluttering helps you value what you already have and creates an empty space so more abundance can follow. Forgiveness plays a vital role in decluttering the emotions. By releasing the past, we liberate ourselves, freed from the gravity of weighty karmic effects. It's funny because the Wheel of Fortune is right here. Reconnect, we reconnect to the light, abundant flow of unconditional love. In this materialistic age, it is common to mistake the measure of success and worth through the possession of money and status alone. Oh my God. There is nothing wrong with aspiring to these lovely things, to have these lovely things, or to create the security and opportunities that money can buy. However, Western values generally encourage focus solely on the outward physical manifestation of abundance. We can be guided to find a healthy balance, remember I was talking about balance earlier, by focusing inwardly to discover spiritual riches, riches available to us in every moment. <laughs> Our divine nature expands far beyond the horizons of the material plane alone and has the power to banish fear and grant authentic peace regardless of circumstance or status, you will have no peace if you choose the wrong direction. Yeah, it's exciting. Whatever. This is no peace. This is too. Interesting. Choose wisely. Oh. Ah. Yikes, I, there's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, about this new exciting opportunity. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. What you own, owns you. That's what I have, Gemini. Talk to you later.